Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you various different ideas for different size Nintendo Switches, whether that be extra small ones or larger versions. Now, at the moment we only have the one size of Switch, but maybe in the future Nintendo might bring out a Switch Mini or a Switch XL. So this is just kind of ideas to see what they may look like. If you like any of them, put them down in the comments, or maybe you think the Switch is just a perfect size as it is at the moment. Again, that's not a problem, put it down in the comments if that's your views. So here we go, sit back, enjoy, let's get started. The Switch Fang. So this would be used in addition to your Nintendo Switch home console. You would reuse the Joy-Cons by taking them off your main Switch and slotting them onto here, creating the fang shape, hence the name. This would be used primarily for travelling. For example, if you're on the London Underground, this is going to be a lot smaller and lighter to use than the Nintendo Switch. You could keep costs down by just having a 480p screen. It doesn't have to be touchscreen. You don't need to have any docking capabilities because it's purely a handheld device and it can be powered via a smaller battery. If you wanted to use it at home, then the main switch could still be used via a Pro Controller on the TV. And then this would be an additional handheld switch to use for your son, daughter, wife, etc. So let me show you a little bit of gameplay. So this is Zelda. Right, let's move on. So here we have the Switch Pro Vision. And what this is, is the Pro Controller with a little screen built into here. So you have all the comfort of the Pro Controller, but yet then you can have a discrete gameplay down here without the whole world watching you because it's going to be kind of covered by your hands when you're on a busy train. Also, it's very comfortable and lightweight. Now, this is purely a screen. All of the work would be done on the actual Nintendo Switch itself, and it would stream the image over to here, similar to how the PlayStation Vita works with the PS4. So it would connect via Wi-Fi on the 5 gigahertz frequency, and so hopefully there would be not a lot of lag. There will be a bit of lag, but it shouldn't be huge because the distances would be so little between, for example, your handbag or your vented bag. Right, let me show you a little bit of gameplay. Let me show you some Wonder Boy. Right, okay, let's move on. So this idea is a Nintendo Switch TV, which is taken straight from the PlayStation TV or the PlayStation Vita TV, as it's also known. So this is basically a PlayStation Vita, but without the screen. It's using the HDMI out to connect up your TV or monitor and using that as a screen. Now imagine if Nintendo did something similar. They could get the price right down, hopefully to around maybe £150, and then it would please those people that use this purely as a home console, because a lot of people don't ever take the Switch out of their dock, they just use it purely to connect the Joy-Cons to and the Pro Controller, and they play it on the big screen. So this would be useful if 
you had numerous family members and they each wanted their own Switch. But if you didn't need it to be portable, then you could just buy the Nintendo Switch TV, connect it up to various different TVs. You have power in, HDMI out to connect up the TV. You'd have a micro SD card slot for your digital games. You'd even have a slot here for your cartridges and then you could have that connected up to various TVs in your house and then you would have the Switch experience but purely as a console without any portability. Plus points are that it would be made a lot cheaper. So I think there would be a market for that. Right, let's move on to another one. So here we have the Switch XL Pro enclosure and it's called an enclosure because that's exactly what it's done. It's enclosed the Switch into a separate 1080p screen that allows you to do a 10 inch gameplay. So here's the switch here and you see now when we drop it in here it will dock itself into this screen. There we go. Right okay let's show you a little bit of gameplay. This is FIFA 18. Right, OK, let's move on to the next one. So this last idea is very similar to remote play on the PlayStation 4. So if Nintendo were to implement this, what would happen is you would keep your Nintendo Switch at home and you would stream the gameplay over the internet onto something that you're already carrying, for example, your phone. And that way then you wouldn't have to carry your Switch around as well as your phone. You would have one item that would do everything. So in this instance here, I'm showing it working on an Apple iPod Touch. And you can see how nice it looks if you look at the home screen there. You can see the colours and everything look really good. So it would be good if they did it, if it had on-screen controls, and then you would have the option to use that or a Joy-Con. Obviously, I've done this up myself, so I've only got the option to use a Joy-Con. So what we're doing is we're connecting the Joy-Con up to this little mobile phone clamp here, and you can see it will accommodate different size screens. So let's pop it on here. Okay, and then you can have it at whatever angle you want. So let's just leave it like that. Now, let me show you a little bit of Mario Kart working. Now, there is going to be lag on this. Lag is always an issue when it comes to streaming. But as we progress forward, the internet speeds will get quicker and then lag will play less of an issue as it currently does. Now, obviously, I've done this myself, so there's a serious amount of lag on this at the moment. Right, let's show you a bit of Mario Kart. Now, motion controls will work on this because you're using the Joy-Con, but I'm just going to use the analog stick. Right, so obviously if this was done properly, then uh, you wouldn't have the same amount of lag as this does. What's particularly out is the audio, but you can still see that I'm uh, just about in first place there. Well, I was. All right, okay, well you get the idea there. So there you have it, that's a few alternative ways to use the Nintendo Switch and it'd be interesting to see what develops in the future, whether we will get a mini version or an extra large version or whether we will be able to stream over the internet onto your phones and tablets. So put down in the comments if you liked any of these ones. Personally, I do like my uh, 
XL Pro enclosure and also I do love the look of this on the iPod here. So give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.